We're gonna have a little chit chat with a couple of guys. I've got Jeff Holt from the editor of Hot Bike Magazine, and right Hello. after him, I got a cat named Mark Russell that does a bunch of cool engineering thinking stuff with motorcycles. We're gonna chat with him a little bit, but so uh, enjoy. We're gonna get to know uh, a little bit more about this guy who actually is so important. He's got his own uh, flat Jeff cut out there. Stand up, stand in. Stand up, stand in, and it's uh, six inches taller than he is. Yes, better looking so, too. Yeah, better looking, much better, and easier to get along with. Yes. Jeff and I have shared rooms at events before. You ought to hear that calamity, boy. It's uh, sounds like two Earth. trains fighting. We snore so much. <laughs> oh, like, it's beautiful though. It's a beautiful, beautiful symphony, man. a cacophony of noise. So, Jeff, welcome to Chicago. Thank you. Where you hail from? Where are you from? Uh, I was born and raised in Anaheim, California, and I moved all the way over to Long Beach, about seven miles away. So. Seven miles away. So you're a big traveler with your movements. So. Yes. Now, uh, Jeff, you. Uh, a lot of times we think that people are just born into the motorcycle industry, but that's really not the case. Uh, you, what did you do before you were in the motorcycle industry? I worked uh, in the bicycle industry, so it's always been wheeled things for me, but uh, I came up riding and racing BMX, working at bicycle shops. Then I kind of got into uh, the aftermarket production stuff. Uh, I've also been a Olympic mechanic for mountain biking. Uh, I got to go to Sydney and Atlanta Olympics. There you it's go. pretty awesome. Uh, I've done everything from quality control to designing of bicycle products, kind of everything. And then uh, always ended up having a Harley since I was 19 years old and uh, just played around with Harleys, built Harleys, had a lot of fun with them, and it somehow became my job. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, you know, we look at folks in the motor, like editor of Hot Bike Magazine, you know, you think, why well, all he's ever done is motorcycles. But, but yeah, so you've been to the Olympics twice with uh, with bicycles, and that's that's cool stuff. Now, how long have you been the editor of Hot Bike? Uh, actually, in in uh, in October, it will be almost ten years. Almost ten years. You were with uh, you, you do Hot Bike and Street Chopper. Yeah, I do Street Chopper magazine, which is more of a traditional chopper magazine. Uh, usually, always rigid bikes, panhead, knucklehead, shovelhead. Uh, we also do metric bikes and British bikes. And that magazine's been around since 1969. That's a long time. So that's got to be quite a bit of pressure, though. I mean, trying to continue that legacy of a magazine. It's uh, it is it is challenging sometimes, but you know, I, I have a, a lot of those editors are still alive, and a lot of those guys um, I'm in contact with. So that's actually really cool. I run ideas by them and kind of you know go by their lead. And uh, it, yeah, it's it's a lot of heritage to uh, and history to. Uh, to have weighing over you every yeah, month well, when the magazine comes out. Yeah, it's wise to check it out. Get get kind of get their approval so you don't try to screw it up under your, your exactly. Watch. You know, yeah. and, and you know, the, a lot of those they've only said good things about the job I've done, and that makes me feel really good. You know, yeah. it's just I'm, I'm maintaining and just providing good content yeah. and badass bikes for people like you guys to enjoy. Yeah. Now. Uh, did formal training to be an editor of a magazine? I mean, well, I say, well, it's pretty funny because when this job was was given or uh, proposed to me, I, you know, I, I'm highly dyslexic. I had to do three years of after school therapy from the seventh grade on uh, to learn how to properly read and do math and things like that. So, when you think of a person that's job is writing and <laughs> and, and getting words correct and everything, it's a it's a kind of a funny thing how I fell into it. So, yeah. uh, but I mean, you know, life gives you challenges, and you just gotta do your best. Yeah, that's awesome. So, you know, anybody, you know, it's uh, you just really, it, it just hanging around the scene long enough, you you'll. That's kind of like me. I mean, you hang around long enough, somebody will eventually pay you. Yeah, exactly. They'll <laughs> either pay you to stay or pay you to leave. That's the way it works. So. Now, uh, what is your role here with the uh, Progressive International Motorcycle Shows? Uh, pretty much, you know, getting the word out about the event, uh, mainly the custom bike build show, because uh, the magazines we do are custom motorcycle magazines. But uh, mainly just, you know, we have over a million Facebook followers, uh, over a million unique visitors to the website a month. So, I mean, literally, these, these guys building these bikes get millions and millions of people watching and wow. covering their stuff and That's it's really cool. cool and for the jmp cycles ultimate builder custom bike show the world's bike show with the longest possible name i don't even try yeah it's uh, it's ridiculous you uh 
Street Chopper and Hot Bike both give awards at the show. Yes, we do. And uh, so and those are editor's choice. Yes. So you are responsible for those picks, and you stand by your chooses. Yes, I do. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, it's a little hard. I mean, it's definitely, uh, especially in Chicago, there's a lot of really good bikes, um, and it's it's going to be insanely hard to pick one per brand. Wow. You know, I know this is a national, so we knew that people were going to come out of the woodwork kind of for this, but... 72 bikes in the show this week. It's awesome. Yeah, it's incredible. Jeff Nager's done a, a really good Jeff job. Jeff has done an amazing job with this show, and yeah, I, I'm really, really happy to be involved in it, you know, and with you and with Jeff. It's just super great. Oh, this is so much fun. Now, what is your uh, take on, where do you think, uh, where do you see the custom motorcycle world? It's always kind of up and down. How, I mean, where do you see it going? What do you think is the next hot thing? Uh, you know, I really, I'm seeing a lot of fragmentation of it. Before it was, you know, everybody would just build choppers or everybody would build baggers. And, and now, you know, there's there's guys building crazy sportsters. Softtails, I, I see, are really starting to come back. Uh, the FXR, of course, you know, is, is that, that whole faction is an amazing thing to see a bike that hasn't even been built in, you know, 20 years do their thing you know and then of course there's uh all the kids building club style dinas and you know that's also a big thing that started on the west coast and it's you're getting it all over the world now kids in yeah. australia there's guys in thailand building them like yeah. it's it's pretty crazy and uh you know i see the a lot of big wheel baggers still you know a lot of people don't like them i like the styling of them uh i ride the hot bike tour with guys that are riding 30 inch front wheels and see them ride those bikes you know, a thousand miles in five days, it can be done. And oh, yeah. you know, it's it's pretty amazing. Well, you see John Shope from Dirty Bird get out there and do wheelies on those things. Oh, Nick Trask, you know, he's got a 200 horsepower yeah. bike with a 30 inch front wheel on it. So it's cool style. And I saw these guys over here uh, with F-Bomb, yes. baggers over here. Uh, man, he, did you see the color matched uh, sidewalls on yeah. his tires it's super cool man yeah that is super cool that guy's killing it over yeah, there Yeah, definitely killing it really nice now uh you do hot bike is custom motorcycles but you also kind of keep your finger you do a lot of product research and oh, you yeah. get a lot of products sent to you what are the what's the new kind of product line i mean what do you, what do you see people really what do you, where's that going the the main thing we've been seeing a lot of uh you know a lot of performance stuff a lot more exhausts that actually add horsepower, intakes that add horsepower. Um, a big, big thing now is suspension. Uh, that market is is coming to fruition very nicely. Uh, more sport bike oriented kind of stuff. Uh, right. Upside down forks, which are you know going on baggers now. Yeah. You know the performance bagger segment is actually getting pretty hot. Um, you know it's it's really cool to see that. Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm glad to hear you say that because, you know, we kind of got away where uh, kind of function went away and it was all about form and motorcycles, you know, kind of what it looked like. People are getting a lot more in, in, you know, particularly in the Harley market, people are starting to get a lot more performance based. Oh, yeah. I'm They're taking the old uh, Yamahas and Hondas and Suzukis and building the cafe bikes like this one from Motown over here. And really, really beef them I mean, up. Even uh, you know the 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 production bikes. You know Harley just switched to a really good suspension on their Sportster line. Uh, you know if you look at the Indians, I mean they're they're amazing. The the suspension, even on the Roadmaster, the big huge touring bike is some of the nicest suspension you're ever going to ride, just out of the box. Yeah. And then also you know Victory is running upside down forks on and big brakes on all, most of their production bikes. So yeah, it's, it's good to see that too. You know. Yeah, and Harley just came out with that uh, that black line where it's uh, got the 110 motor and the stripped yeah, down it's a bikes. Really cool bike, and then the the Lowrider S with the yeah. 110 in it and big brakes. It's so, it's so really the industry cool. it looks like it's moving more towards performance and. Yeah, uh, definitely, and I mean you know you can ruin those bikes with big wheels and and <laughs> chop suspension just as you can any it, other bike. Absolutely, so. we can screw them up, and get them in Hot Bike Magazine. There Damn you go. Right. <laughs> Well, Jeff, it's always a pleasure uh, to have yeah. you around. I appreciate your friendship. Uh, you've too. got a hot bike tour. When's that happening? Hot bike tour is 7th to the 11th of September, and it's from Asheville, North Carolina, to Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, come on out and ride it.
It's going to be a lot of fun. Asheville to Nashville. And Asheville and you'll, Nashville. You'll ride with 24 of the best builders in the country. We got guys that are going to be building baggers for that. And you got guys that are also then going to be just building kind of freestyle, custom, yes. off the chain stuff, riding them from city to city. Five bike shows. Yeah, five it's, bike shows. Uh, bike thousands show of people day. riding with us. I mean, it's kind of cool. You get to ride with your favorite builder. You get to ride with the editors of the magazines. Uh, you know, it's it's just a lot of fun. It's a good it's thing It's a lot to of do. fun. We don't drink at night there. No, not at we all. We don't have any fun at night. No. So if you're coming for a good time, don't ride with us. But, yeah, we'll be out. We'll be out on hot bike. We do accept free drinks. Yes. It's, uh, many of them. Many, many, many. So, uh, but any Jeff, it's always good to see you. I love Thanks you, for man. coming you know by. That. Yeah, man, love you. Good to good to have you come by and yeah, share man. some stuff. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. All righty. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Holt, Hot Bike Magazine. He'll be around. Get your picture made with him, and uh, he'll.